That was like a good Uh, okay, I don't think it was your day today, Thor. I don't know why you decided to flash lightning. What was that Zeus? Are there frost giants up there? Is that why lightning flashed? Eh, whatever the reason. Anyway, so, uh, we- I am the Shadow Reaper, and today we're going to continue our Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play. Well, last thing we left off, we had gone and we ransacked through the place, uh, that Samson was hiding out in. And, uh, apparently, uh, even though we decided to go and attack his base, he decided to run away like a little, uh, decided to run away, uh, like a coward. And, uh, left behind a bunch of Templars for me to murder, as well as an, a, a, um, his little bitch boy, uh, who decided to poison himself so that I wouldn't give him any information, but, uh, <laughs> oh, how foolish of him to think that the afterlife is going to keep me away from him. No, he may not be able to give me the information that I need, but that doesn't mean I can't necessarily punish him to my heart's delights when I get the chance. <laughs> anyway, so, we are now in Crestwood, and, oh, we did also help Josephine with her, uh, problem of people trying to murder her, but, um, uh, so we met up in Val Royale, and, and uh, Val Royale, and, uh, things are solved for now, and now we are in Crestwood, uh, because we are now trying to meet up with a Grey Warden, uh, contact, and, uh, deal with a few other things, but, uh, yeah. May I mean, uh, be with you, Inquisitor. Uh, Thank you for all your help. You're welcome. Uh, Jana's also my new agent. I got her last episode as well, so, uh, you know. Message board. This board has several papers and scraps of paper pinned to it. No one is to approach the dragon again. I have sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any sign of Henry at first light. Mayor Daedric. Hmm. I mean, I know I said I didn't want to kill any more dragons, but... Uh... This is basically a quest. I mean, sure, there was a quest to kill all the dragons, sure, but I don't want to do that quest. But this is this is just telling me that these people want, are in danger of this dragon, and uh, it's, it's just telling me I, I have to kill the dragon. I have to. I, I really just legitimately have to because I really need to show up the capital, whoever they are. Were they talking about the Orlasian capital? The Ferelden capital? I don't know. Point of the matter is, I need to show them up and show just how boss I am. Anyway, one of my lambs went missing. Stripe on front right hoof. Uh, disappeared yest evening in Upper Meadow, Irvin. It's yesterday. No need to shorten the word, Irvin. Peasant. If anyone spots Eddie, send for me. Don't let her sweet talk you into anything else. She knows what she did, Penelope. Need rake? I will lend you one for five. It's two peas. Why? Two peas for coppers. Jeez. Learn how to spell. Although, then again, these are peasants, so uh, literacy is kind of, uh. Come to think of it. How do they even write? Peasants don't know how to write, do they? I could have sworn this was supposed to be in the Middle Ages or something like that. How are you able to write? I'm curious. Uh, come see me. I also have waging it's very good by, uh, by it needs rest. You can have it, just come take it away from my home. Bring wheels. Why? Someone else has also carved Milton and Lonnie into the backboard. Okay. No need to talk about your relationship publicly. I mean, don't you normally do it on a tree to keep it in private? I don't know. I, I, I'm just wondering if these people did want to keep it private or not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay. With that, let's go ahead and move on forward. How? In this direction. That it is very required that I go in. Maybe. Because there is a quest this direction. Oh, and also a landmark. Although it has my banners already. Oh well, may as well put up more. Just to let everybody know that, of course, I own the place, because I own every place. That's exactly how it works. Nobody questioned me on that. Uh, Memory of the Drowned. On the eighth day of Blooming Tide, 930 Dragon, we fought the fifth light. We remember the night the dam broke open, drowning the dark spawn in flood water. We remember the cries of those swept away, our families and good neighbors. We remember refugees who took shelter with us, also lost in the dark. 
We give their souls to the maker, our beloved Andraste, guide them to his side. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best idea, honestly. Carved into the base of a memorial statue in Crestwood above a list of names. Um, all I see is bush. These people didn't do a very good job of remembering the dead. Finally, plan to drain the lake. I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. Uh, okay, um, is this a. You, you want bodies from the lake? Or why drain the lake? Let's, let's just ask. What do you mean by finally drain the lake? The young dead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. Fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. Is this a funeral? I interrupted a funeral service. We lost many friends in the first attack. Oh, there will be endless time to mourn. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Uh, okay. Until later. Andraste guide you. Ugh, I don't want to be guided by Andraste. How many times do I have to tell you people this? It's like you people don't even listen to me. Anyway, I'm claiming your logging stance. They're mine now. That's punishment for assuming that I honor Andraste and the maker, you bitch. Going around and people just going around and assuming my religion just because I'm the Inquisitor, the Imperial Inquisitor of the Holy, Most Graceful, Beautiful, and Wondrous Alpine Empire. I'm doing it for the Elven Gods is my point. I didn't say who I was the Inquisitor for, but you people all just assumed I was the Inquisitor for the fucking Maker, even though I don't give a fuck about that asshole. I think I give a fuck about that genocidal bitch? I don't. So stop fucking assuming that. Assuming ass human bitches. I mean, uh, all of you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm fine. Anyway, all of you people decided to be racist with me over at the ball. I mean, yes, I'm in Ferelden now. But you're all humans, and since you all make assumptions of me uh, because I'm an elf, I get to make assumptions of all of you because you're human. I do not care if that's being ironic. It's exactly what you deserve. Also, fuck that thing. Really? Uh, I just had to die right at this moment. God damn it! I blame the humans. This is all the human's fault. Okay, is that all of them dead? Like, okay, let's actually close the thing there. Yeah, I can just warn that because I didn't do the thing the first time that, uh... Well, I'm not gonna question it. Anyway, we, we got the rift near the north gate, so that's good. So that works. Wasn't there some- yes, there was. And some power, I mean, sure, you could possibly argue that I have enough. But I argue in return. What is this enough power? Because I don't think I, I- I know of this. I don't think there is such a thing as too much power for me. It's, uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't understand why you people are complaining about if you think there is such a thing as too much power, because there isn't. There is no such thing as having too much power when it comes to me. I deserve it all. I deserve all of the power. For I am the most capable person of having all of the power. Oh, there's some loot over here. Eh, just some basic armor that I don't care about. Keep out. <laughs> Watch me, bitch! Oh. Who win this 
drown door. But watch me at another time. Stupid sign. If you could just keep me out of that room just because there's a sign in front of it. We'll see how that goes. We'll see. We'll see just how long they think they could keep me out of that room. Because I'm not going to give up. I am. The Holy Imperial Inquisitor of his most bra his most beautiful, gracious, gracefulness of the beautiful, graceful, swift Alfheim Holy Empire of the Elven people. So we'll just have to see how long that door thinks it could keep me out. Because I will get in there one way. Anyway, so uh, there's a quest over this away. So let's see what we can find. Villager Crestwood. Yeah, I thought I discovered that already. Ah. Your word. Farewell. Yes, farewell. You don't really have anything more for us to talk about, so uh, I I'm just going to be on my business here. I have important things that need to be done involving where I prove just how amazing I am. Which isn't that hard of a thing to do because I'm amazing. Uh, but, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because it makes me even more amazing. Uh, Ow. Micah, it's the end of the world. Oh, that bitch. Won't let me in just because he boarded up his door. We'll see how long that door is also going to remain boarded up before I break it down. Although it probably will be more likely that I have Iron Bowl break it down just so that I get a chance at those beautiful muscles of his. Also, I'm going to take these painless things. Nobody question why I do it. I'm just him. Alright, you already asked me to like check up on somebody or something like that. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Something to climb. What does it lead to? Oh, th more things for me to take. Don't mind if I do. I'm sure they won't mind. Paragon of Al Dukin carving. Yeah, I'll be taking that and then I'm gonna sell it. It's mine now. Also, yes, I could have just exited through the gates, but that's just going through normal means. And obviously, I don't just I don't just go with normal means. I go through my own means. Dad, and there was some shit going down over here, so I'm gonna investigate it. This is undiscovered, so sure, let's go this way. Oh, yep, there be things going on, demons. You ain't teleporting anywhere, teleporting demon. Also, fuck you, gross one. Oh, okay. That, that was uh, much easier than I thought it would be. Batter journal, page from Circle Mage's journal. I can travel around Crestwood. One person might sneak past the roaming dead with the aid of a little magic. I hear Redcliffe is taking him mages. If I get there, I'll be safe. Oh, yeah, I already took them a while ago. I can't do it. These people have no one to help them. They've probably never seen undead before. Maybe they won't trust a maid, but what use was I penned in the circle? Maybe here I could do some good. I'll introduce myself to the villagers tomorrow. I hope they don't turn me away. Lots of bandits in these parts. Can't blame them, I suppose. It's hard making a living these days. I suppose, but... Um... We just saw this woman is dead. So, uh... uh okay. I, I guess. I mean, sure, I get it. But, like, at the same time, it's like, this woman is dead. You're really just gonna excuse the bandits when this woman is dead right in front of us? Just kind of an odd time to be saying something like that is my point, uh, Blackwall. Just saying. Maybe next time, don't do that. Take back Kara Bronaka. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't realize I was on a There's quest to, to do that. Talked about and the bandits. Archers on the ramparts. 
Good defenses. They'll be hard to pry out. Uh, I don't see any arches on the rampart, so they clearly did not do a great job. And oh, they're sending out attack dogs. How dare you? How dare you abuse these beautiful creatures by sending them out to kill me? You will be punished, really. You will be blown up! That's splinters. Why did these bastards do? I can already tell this is not gonna go well for them. They are going to have some words from me. How many times is this gonna happen in this single episode in just a few minutes? All right, I say, you wanna play hard to get with me by locking up and boarding up some doors? Well, again, we'll just see how long that lasts. I already broke through the first door, shot it to bits. We'll see how long that one lasts. I mean, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to break that door, but again, We'll just see what happens. Excuse me, sir. Did you just try and hit me with that puny axe of yours? How insulting. Oh, they opened the door for me. Fucking idiots. Anyway. Excuse me, did you just think you were going to have the high ground advantage over me? Sorry, but you ain't Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also, you should not have your shield turned uh, away from me, but thank you for doing that out of courtesy. You shouldn't even be having a tall ass shield like that because it means you're a bitch. Reinforcements! Well, now you don't have the elf in your sides because you is dead. What dumbass reinforcements they are. Okay, so that's them dead. Moving on. Oh, there's loot over there. Though. Oh, that's why, oh, okay, I was wondering why you guys were just suddenly attacking me, but, uh, as it turned out, I was wrong. You were not trying to murder me and stab me in the back. I would have been very sad, Iron Bullet, that is exactly what you did, as well as sad with you, Dorian. That would have made me sad, but luckily you were protecting me, so, uh, I retract that statement. Could have let me know, though. That also would have been nice. Okay, let's see. So far, nothing, but there is a landmark in this direction. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a supply cache. I don't really need those. I mean, are you serious? Have you seen how pathetic these guys are? Why would I need a supply cache for this? I mean, come on. Although, granted, these guys are probably very under-leveled in comparison to me, but that's their problem. Especially the fact that they seem to have a problem with just blowing up. But again, their problem, not mine. It's just my amusement, is all. Excuse me, don't! You do not get to use any archer abilities upon my man! Final moments, even as you are a spare race from the dead, you bitch. Don't worry, Dorian, we're all too pretty to die, but there's there's really nothing to be concerned about with these guys. Their ugly levels are clearly impeding on just how bad they are in this situation. That's all of them. Good view. The Inquisition could use this place. Oh, you know it, Iron Bull, my man. You and I just know, think alike very much. Anyway, 
Time for this place to be declared as ours. <laughs> there we go. Perfect place in view of the moonlight. Oh, I'm a liberator. I mean, I probably would say something more along the lines of conquer. I feel like that'd be more accurate, but, you know, uh, to each their own. I, I can be both. After all, I'm liberating these people by having them under my leadership and uh, ownership of the uh, new, beautiful, graceful Alfheim Empire. You know, it's a, it's a consideration. looks good. What's next? We should drain the lake. The mayor said the dam controls were through the fort. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why we were, uh, <clears throat> and that is why we were, uh, taking this place. Welcome, Inquisitor. My name is Charter. Leleana's eyes and ears, especially in this place. I'll have some information for you once my man Butcher finds us. He's running late. What's useful about this area? Can Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Val Royale. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, some have surprisingly loose tongues. You mentioned a spy. When's this spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message swore he had secrets for us worth ten times his weight in gold. You better. Otherwise I'm gonna charge him a hundred times more gold. What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. And too many undead keep rising from the lake. Hmm. Oh, and when I say a hundred times more gold, I mean I'm adding that on to the original promise. So that would make it a thousand times his uh, his weight in gold. I should be going. Farewell. And if we cannot provide it, well, we have ways of making sure. And the mayor said the dam controls were through this gate. You mean through that door? Also, why is it so musty? Is it from the alcohol in these? Has nobody drank from these? Wasteful bitches. Truly wasteful bitches. Hmm, okay. Uh, so we have that way and we have that way. Which is it? building on the dam likely holds the mechanism to drain the lake. Oh, wait, that's right. There's also a uh, landmark that uh, we need to uh, get. So uh, before we do any of that, um, I would like to take care of that and just make sure that everyone knows that this place extra belongs to me because I'm claiming the landmark. The I landmark is mine. Oh, I didn't read this. Hard in Hightown, Chapter 4, by Varric Tethris. Donald Brenakovic didn't stand on ceremony. He strode through the barracks and slammed open the door to the captain's office without so much as a nod to the guards he passed. Just barely dawn, and already Captain Hendelin was buried beneath a mountain of paperwork taller than the Vimarks. All Donald could see of the captain was her fiery hair and the angry gaze that had stopped more than one pickpocket mint rift. Captain, I need a warrant for the Comte de Favre. Even as the words left his lips, Donna knew they were a mistake. The captain rose to her feet. Brennakovic! The way she spoke his name was like a, port a portcullis clanging shut. Where's my report on the Hightown Market body? It was the kind of question you might ask a truant child. The kind where you already knew the answer and just wanted to see someone squirm in guilt. I'll file it after you file it now, guardsman. She stepped out from behind the desk. We follow procedure in my barracks. The magistrate was murdered on my watch, Captain. Donna's voice was heated. He could never keep his temper in her presence. I'm not letting the killer get away. You left the scene without a thorough search of the market. Hendelin began pacing, her voice like cold steel. You harassed a magistrate's widow, and you practically broke down a Comte's door. She turned to glare at him. All before dawn. If you want a warrant, you damn well better have hard evidence to justify it. I know that Defarve isn't telling us everything, Donnan insisted. Let me bring him in and forget it. 
She crossed back to her chair. You've got nothing. You're not arresting a man on a feeling, Brenakovic. Captain, he protested. From behind her paperwork, the captain waved for him to be silent. You're two weeks from retirement, guardsman. You want to stay in the ranks long enough to get pensioned? You follow procedure. Find me evidence and quit wasting my time. Dismissed. Well, he doesn't seem to be having a good time there. Thank you for your salute. I see you have been paying attention to the chapter that I just read aloud. That I did so completely on purpose. Also, don't mind me. Or, li or lock picking this door so I have access to it. Even though we technically own the place already, but. Ooh! Eh. Ker Bronak. King Brendel erected Ker Bronak in 826 Blessed, intending the fort as a stopover garrison for Feraldin soldiers fighting Orlesian invaders. The village of Crestwood takes its name from the fort's first captain, Sir Venar Crestwood, who held Ker Bronak longer than anyone thought possible against the vanguard of the Orlesian army. When the fort's defeat seemed inevitable, Sir Crestwood opened the gates, holding a flag of truce, and challenged every chevalier in the Imperial Army to a duel. Amused, one Orlesian officer accepted the offer. Sir Crestwood su swiftly cut him down. Eight more followed, Honor and, wa and the watching soldiers forcing them to fight Sir Crestwood one on one. The tenth challenger fin finally managed a fatal blow, only because Sir Crestwood had slowed, due to, had slowed due to the blood loss from previous injuries. Impressed by Sir Crestwood's tenacity and endurance, the remaining officers left the small village around the fort untouched as the Orlesians made for the capital, sparing hundreds of innocent lives. From notable fortresses, castles, towers, and other edifices of interest in Ferelden by Henry Lenon. He blinks when he has a sweet. Hmm. What an interesting story. A Magister's Needs. Dearest sister, it's been an age since I've written, but I simply had to thank you. Your advice was perfect. Just a few gossips bought with gold, and everyone in Minrathos thought Quirin, uh, Quirinus and I were the most dreadful rivals. It let us indulge our little love affair without his wretched family interfering, if only for a little while. Quirinus, uh, Quirinus himself sadly turned out to be less ideal. I caught him carrying on behind my back with a soparati of all things. Can you imagine? There was nothing for it. During the quarrel, I threw of boiling water in his face, let his operati kiss the scars better. He's cowering in his mansion now, pretending he was hurt in a duel. No doubt he'll want revenge. Don't worry, dear sister. I took precautions. Don't tell anyone, but my master taught me a few secrets that should keep me safe. The ritual cost me the mansion's kitchen slave, Lena. I think she was called. But I have enough power now to keep Quirinus from trying anything foolish. Kitchen slaves can be bought by the dozen at the market, so there's no harm in it. Bitch! I feel wonderful, dear sister. Won't you come for Winter Send this year? I'll have my new slave trained to make your favorite lemon cakes by then. It'll be perfect. Letter from Magister Delphine to her sister, Alia, 865 Blessed. Why do we have what this here? Make of that? Inquisitor. Oh, piss. We're, uh... Just catching up with each other after an assignment. Just don't lock the door. Well, just just don't lock the door. That part's fine. Just don't lock me out of my own keep. No, Inquisitor. It won't happen again. I swear it. Nose a little brown, Reeve. Quiet, you. Yeah. So, uh, but next time I see. Some locked doors in my cape. There will be problems here. As you were. Oh wait, right, that's the Antiban chopper that I didn't want. Anyway, what was I doing up here again? Oh, uh, well, this isn't what I was going to claim, but hey, there's an. Op uh, oh no, wait, that's not where the operation is. Oops, I was misled. Uh, landmark, and, uh, what's this over here? That's a quest thingy. Hello? Someone needs to deal with the last of Crestwood's highwaymen. Who has done? If we clear the bandits out, more travelers. More travelers. More news 
for the Nightingale. Good point, but I've got a code to unscramble if you want to know who killed Comte Bayeux last week. What's this about bandits? Are the highwaymen still in Crestwood? Yes, Your Worship. Now that their fort is gone, the bandits are ambushing travelers. Crestwood won't stop them either. The town's still reeling from the undead. Hmm, okay, waiting on the bandits. Kill eight of them. Not an issue. Pretty much got this one covered here. <laughs> now then, um... Where is that damn landmark that I want to claim for myself? Oh, is it that one over there? Hopefully it is. Just wish there were easier ways to access the places I want to. Oh wait, was there loot over there? Oh, huh, there was. I'll take the Viridium. Dorian, I have to wonder with the outfit that you are currently wearing that I probably gave you, uh... Are you, uh... You're not gonna get... You're not gonna catch a cold, are you? Hopefully you won't. Okay, so I need to figure out how I can get up to the place I want to. But did I go the wrong way? I feel like I can. Oh wait, there was an there was an operation down here. Ow! Nilla got caught in Valshavan. No. She fooled them into thinking she's from the court in Valrior. They'll treat her well for a while. It's awful for sending her out without a partner. An agent was captured. One of our spies is compromised. Yes, Inquisitor. Miller was captured in Valshavan. She was after valuable information. Perhaps arrangements could be made to bring her back. Hmm, okay. Well, now we have the operation available, so we'll see what we can do about that. First things first, however, I still need to claim that landmark. I am not leaving until I do. And then I will leave to do the thing that I was supposed to do earlier. Oh, I think it might have been this way I need to go. Take mosaic... Mine. Freed our slaves. Ah, good. Glad we could have more of that. Ooh, a lightning rune. Don't mind if I take that. Oh. Now, uh, what is this supposed to be? Pretty sure this is not how I'm supposed to get uh, to the place I wanted to get to. Just once, we should enter a cave and see normal sized spiders. That would be nice, Dory. That would be nice. But no, I have to deal with these giant ass ones. Why? Just that fucking bitch just had to be all complaining, be all like, oh, how, I, how I'm more afraid of the smaller spiders than I am the bigger ones because, yeah. Maybe that bitch should prioritize his fears, damn it. So why am I in this cave? This isn't actually what I intended to... This is not the place I intended to go. Now ah, whatever. I'll deal with the landmark at another time. Hmm. Okay. Gold. Spindle weed. Okay, so I guess this is the place that I go to when I have drained the lake. But, um, I don't want to do that right now. So, uh, we'll just be going back uh, to the, uh, we'll just go back to Caperonac originally. And, uh, see if we could still, uh, figure out that whole, uh, thing. It still wants to add. It still wants to elude me. I think this was also the wrong way. This should be the right way, though. I think, maybe, probably. We'll see. Or will this actually lead outside? I'm gonna go this way. I'll deal with the landmark at another time. 
don't know why it has to be so hard to get to. Stupid directions. Oh, what's down here? And it's not in the direction of the quest, but I'm gonna go down here and investigate anyway. The black fence. Hmm. Okay, so we're getting some bandits here that we are murdering currently. Perfect. On our way to progressing through the quest. Oh, there's more over there. I got him. Okay, so not exactly what I intended in the first place, but uh, hey, it's working out. What was this one again? Ah, right. That was the uh, building to uh, do the thing, drain the lake, and all that. This is. This doesn't look like the right direction to go, though. Oh well. May as, well, may as well stick around the area and kill more bandits so that we can have that taken care of, at least. Because after all, information is power, and I want that information for my spy so that I can use it as well as Miss Nightingale. Oh, we got a big bunch of them over here. Prepare to die. I'm sorry, sir. Were you trying to have an archery up with me? You really should have figured out that one would work out well for you. Yeah, no. Nice try. Except it wasn't because he died so quickly. Only to be expected, though. This one is not dying so quickly. Why is that? Okay, now they're dead. Assassin weapon, don't mind if I take that. Ooh, but we have a landmark we can claim here. Don't mind if I do. And also a mining area, or a place for resources that I can take, just cause. No, oh, are you kidding me? Fine, I'll just take the fire agate then. Law Speaker's Assembly. Lit K. We've got ourselves a few months' work repairing the dam. The mayor wants us to meet with him at the Law Speaker's Assembly to seal the bargain. He says it's where they shake on agreements, judge criminals, hold weddings, etc. Must have been impressive once, if that's where they do official business. No left by a stone mason for his cousin at Crestwood's Inn. Well, um, yeah, this... I mean, I could see why, but at the same time, this looks more like a quarry place, so I'm, I'm just gonna take it. No more official business here without my permission and paying me. That's right, I'm demanding tribute. If you want to do official stuff here, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see if, uh, how the people like it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do it. So this isn't the direction to the damn building that I'm supposed to go to, but it's a, the direction to another quest, so I'm gonna do it. Also, there is another thing I can claim for myself over here. So don't mind if I claim it. Again. Oh, what's this? A crumpled note. Dancing. Don't be so stingy. Give up the last of your rams if, we ha if you have to. I'll be gone hunting for a week, so remember, bring the dragon a hundred pounds of each morning. That seems to keep the monster full enough she doesn't wonder what there is to eat inside our homes, Walker. Uh, we'll claim this first. Ferelden Wyvern Statues. Wyvern statues found throughout Ferelden were inspired by a legend that Andraste tamed one of the venomous beasts with her song. Note, I say legend and not the chant, for this is a wild superstition. We must sternly remind the faithful that any story about the Bride of the Maker outside the Chant of the Light is blinkered heresy. Folklore and nothing more. Excerpt from an unfinished treatise by Brother Regor Regor in 873 Blessed. Well, he sounds like an absolute... Just... He 
He just sounds like a whole lot of fun at a party, doesn't he? I hope you all note the obvious sarcasm in my voice. Anyway, there's a rift over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that first. Nope. Bit too close. He's definitely asleep. Is he dead? Do not try to electrocute me, Thor, please. I'd very much appreciate you not doing that because that was a bit of a close one. Fuck you, despair demon. Stop using your magic to shield you! Can't you see I'm trying to kill you? See, this is what happens when you try to shield yourself to a, in, to a death that you will suffer anyways. And I learned. No Kunari would accept a Divinta Mage so Unless it was a ruse. When should I expect a knife in the back? You ever use that fancy magic of yours to burn down a dormitory full of kids? Uh, not today. <laughs> then I wouldn't worry. A lot of other people need a knife in the back first. Well, I suppose this is probably you guys just getting along a little bit better, so I'll accept it. Maybe that old threesome idea might just work out a little bit. If only the game would allow me! Why can't you just let me have my menage a trois, damn it? I hate this. I hate that I have to choose one person and one person only when in all reality, I could just have a little bit of polygamy. Have that threesome relationship that I've always wanted to have, that beautiful menage a trois. But no, I have to be denied. Because he has to be between two people and two people only because bullshit. Excuse me, am I just not allowed to have my yaoi harem? Am I just not allowed these nice things? Forester's homestead and ooh! An asterium, I see. I'm gonna have to go ahead and investigate that. Oh, apparently somebody lives right next to it. Well, I'm taking credit for solving it. You don't get to take any credit. If they try to burn the place down, Dorian, you know what to do. Anyway, <clears throat> so I know how this whole thing's gonna go down. Maybe we'll see. Uh, then go over here. Okay, yeah, I definitely got it. And then we go... Oh, wait, is that connected or is it not? Oh, it is. Yikes. Okay, well, I know how to do it now. Very so... Okay, no, no, no. I got it this time, though. So, start from this one, and then... Uh... I don't know why I had it mixed up. I had it right the first time. Then go like this. There we go. See? Easy. Just took a couple of times is all. Constellation Silentir. Referred to as silence in the common parlance, the Constellation Silentir is historically attributed to Dumat, the old god of silence and leader of the ancient Tevinter pantheon. The depiction of the constellation, however, is often debated. 
Some depict a dragon in flight, while others, uh, also the most common modern depictions, show a man carrying a horn and a wand. Some scholars believe these represented scales, which would point to this constellation being a supplantation of the elven mythal, but nothing indicates this to be more than speculation. From a study of Theode the Theodosian astronomy by Sister Oran Petrarchius. Ugh. Okay, we got the others revealed. Anyway, there's this person over here that has a quest. You chose a bad time to come knocking. Between the corpses and the wyvern, nothing here is safe. But I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. Uh, what do you do here? Do you farm out here? The name's Judith. I farm and I mend things for the village and people passing through. I did a fair trade with traveling merchants before the undead started attacking. Not to mention that dragon. What's this about a wyvern? I mean, I heard about it already, but, uh... There's a wyvern causing trouble. It used to hunt in the mountains. Didn't bother anyone but the bandits. <laughs> Lately, the beast got it in his head to come down here. Yeah. It almost crippled Gold's little boy. Best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. Tell me about the dragon. What do you know about the dragon? She moved in a month ago. The guards tried to run her off, but she snapped one's head off and she flew away. Poor Hamald. At least it was quick. Since then, she's eaten three horses, five goats, and two cats. Okay, yeah, I could kind of see the problem. Ate a little bit of wild stock as well as also murdered a person. Also injured one, so at first I wasn't that concerned, but then, uh, yeah. Killed somebody as well, so, uh, that makes sense. I was told to check on you, by the way. If you're Judith, there's a man in the village concerned about you. <laughs> that must be Gould, fretful as ever. I'm glad he stayed in Crestwood. He's fast as you please with a loom, but terrible with a sword. Ah. Until later. Be safe. Okay, well, uh, quest completed. Uh, I guess you're safe, Ben, so, uh, job done here. And now I have to kill the cave wyvern. Okay, then. And, uh, let's see. This leads to weeding out the bandits. Okay, yeah. So, we got more bandits we need to murder, it seems. Works for me. Thought I killed them all, but okay. Oh, there's another rift over here. What the fuck? I thought I cleared out the rift in this area. I guess it wasn't... Oh, wait. Yeah, the location is different, so never mind. Old Winter's Farm. Okay, yeah, definitely a different location, then. Uh, you stay away from me there, sir, or ma'am. Arcane horror. Close this up now. So jobs taken care of. Okay, we're good. Green velvet. And uh, what do we get here? Uh, spirit essence. Okay, that works for me. All right, now, what could be in this, uh, empty, abandoned farm now? Oh, Linden Farm, also discovered, okay. In comparison to Whitaker's farm, uh... Um... Um... Just gonna... Pretend I didn't see that. Oh wait, nope, we're not leaving the place just yet. Uh, let's see, uh, I just saw the symbol, and uh, we're not leaving the place. I uh, still have some highwaymen, I need to take care of it. Wow, we are discovering these places like a champ, but they're all just like right here, and oh. Bloody papers. The stack of papers is so blood-soaked the pages stick together. Only a few lines are still legible. Also the rain. I feel like that would also be something you'd notice. After knowing who he truly serves, it was an easy thing to discover his compatriots. 
I lifted a list of their spies from one before I left. We have little time before the theft is discovered, so I advise we move post-haste. I was followed, but do not fear. I lost my pursuers in lines. Only our closest friends know my final destination, Butcher. Reinforcements! Okay, well, there I goes that. I wonder if any part of them remembers who they were. These fucking Templars, of course. Well, they didn't last long. Well, I guess that takes care of them. Oh, we can establish a camp right there. And oh, yeah, there's still the bandits we need to take care of, I guess, in the area. Still haven't come across any, strangely. That's weird. Oh, there they are. One down. More. Oh, uh, two more, I guess. Really, sir? Okay, job done. Bandits have been weeded out. Everybody's safe. Travelers can come through and give me all their juicy details. In the form of telling my spies in one way or another. And uh, we'll just go ahead and set up another camp. Oh, perfect. All right, what have we got for me? Dispatch for you. Report. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Hmm. Okay. Um. Holding Crestwood has been completed. Oh yeah, I could definitely take care of this. Navarin longbows. No mind if I do it. Why are we using specifically Navarin? I feel like we could definitely use better longbows, like maybe some Elven ones. People need to learn your quality of bows. Elves are all obviously the better ones, okay? The humans don't know shit about bows. Do you not understand that? You know the elves are the best archers, and yet you you go ahead and just ask the Navarans for their models of long bows. Okay, I see how it is. People are pathetic. Oh, there's a quest over this way. Here lies the abyss. Varg has a friend named Hawk, uh, who fought Corypheus. Right. Okay, let's head in that direction, actually, since that's the whole reason we're even here. So let's go take care of that. Oh, but there's a quest over this way. I wonder what it is. Or there's something in this direction. We are almost out of time, so I probably shouldn't be taking up too much of it. Oh, a landmark. Okay, well, don't mind if I go ahead and just quickly claim that for Le Inquisition. Le Imperial Inquisition of Le, uh, Le Beautiful and Graceful Alfheim Empire. The pit in the pond. Three trout pond hides a sinkhole hundreds of yards deep. Darkspawn emerged from this and other caves to attack Crestwood during the Blight. The flood that wiped out old Crestwood drowned the Blighted Ones, and the excess water created the pond we see today. If the dam was not damaged, we would have never survived the dark spawn. Was the Maker's hand in this? I cannot believe he would so purposefully cruel be so purposefully cruel to his children, flawed though we are. You're surprised by this? Have you not paid attention to his hot his entire history in your chant? This is exactly like having to come to questions about all of the genocidal things that the God of the Bible has ever done throughout the entirety of the Old Testament, the New Testament, and so on. Ugh. You people are just infuriating sometimes in how little you acknowledge of your own gods. Just... From the memoirs of Sister Vaughn of Presswood. Girl, you need some help. You need to do some more re you need to do some more research and then you need some help because I am pretty sure it is going to take a lot of coping and a lot of counseling to realize just how much of a bastard your god is. I know it took me a while to figure that whole thing out. It took me some it just took a few things. I get that. But at the same Lots time the should be inside that cave. It's important that we actually acknowledge this. Uh, by the way, hi Hawk. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. 
My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. Okay, I saw other wardens. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. I couldn't tell, actually, so, uh, yeah, let's get going now, Hawk. Okay, yeah, good. You are following me instead of just standing there letting me do everything. That would have been suspicious as fuck. Now then. Tend to threaten me with that, sir. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. You sound a bit familiar to someone. I wonder why. Anyway, let me add all of this up. Most of you wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. Do you think that one might have something to do with the other? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. The calling controls them? You think Corypheus is using this calling to control the Grey Wardens? Not precisely, Your Worship. The calling warns the Grey Warden that his time in this world grows short. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next blight? Ah, uh, me. Is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. Can Corypheus really do that? Is the calling they're hearing real? Or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. Are you affected? You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. Oh, glad of you to add a rather vague thing, even though you're not exactly telling me if you actually are hearing the calling. How is this possible, though? How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a magister, as well as a darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. The ones are scared. So the Wardens think they're dying and have stopped thinking clearly. That won't go well. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, 
The next blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Oh. Yeah, I haven't actually go. gone there yet. Uh, to deal with uh, Venatori activity. Oops. Huh. Regarding the calling, so many refuse to speak of it, but how can we know it? How can we identify it, if we do not share it? The calling is not a source of shame. The song that whispers in the back of my mind is no evil upon my soul, but the mark of a life well lived in service of a greater good. If all things come from the Maker, then is this too not a part of his plan? Could it not be a gift, a final haunting melody to send us into the afterlife with hearts opened? Could this not be a song? It scratches at my thoughts, the music almost a voice, at once unearthly and beautiful. I found myself humming it aloud a few days past, where once it intruded, it now feels a natural part of my mind's course. It coils around memories I hold there, training with Sir Keller, riding in the moonlight, my mother's face the last time I saw her, and inserts itself into them, so that I could almost swear that music, that sense of a presence watching and calling, had always been a part of what I remember. This is what the senior wardens warned us of, I imagine. I should not find it beautiful. I must, I must remember the corruption and recognize that my mind is slowly losing the wit to, dis, to differentiate between this world and that which would consume and destroy it. I must. I can. I will tell wardens to mo the wardens tomorrow. I've seen their looks. They already know, I suspect. I will heed the calling and go to the deep roads to die with the dwarves, fighting as a Grey Warden should. But if I am to die, after all I have given, can I not at least allow myself the pleasure of the song's beauty? The final pages of my, of To My Fellow Wardens by Sir Marjorie Baran. There's more we can ask or speak of. We should get to the ritual tower in the western approach as soon as possible, your worship. Tell me about Clarell. Clarell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? She was a good warden. Once. Among those King Kaelin reached out to before the blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Clarell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Is Corypheus controlling her? Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words, certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like being a Warden? I can't even imagine. It's been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life, searching out Darkspawn, killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Did you know about Corypheus? Corypheus was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I know little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. When I suggested Corypheus might have something to do with the calling, the warden mages turned on me. I trained some of those wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. Thank you. We'll talk later. All right, and I think with that, we will end the episode here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give that like button a star if you did. Subscribe if you want more death in your life. Be sure the bell is tolling for thee. Until next time, rest in peace. Bye! Enjoyed today's video? Well, there's plenty more for you to enjoy here. And if you also want to support this small channel, then there is also my Kofi, which is available, as well as a Twitter thread that gives you my commissioning info. And if you'd like some traditional art or literature, feel free to DM me on Twitter.
Thank you for enjoying the video and for your viewership.